Hey guys, it was a little while ago I filmed this, so but I thought I'd, I'd throw it in anyway. I wasn't going to put it in, but I thought I'd little make a little episode. Basically, when I bought the bus, <clears throat> the guy was really oh, what's the word for it? Non forthcoming with with information about the bus, and, and I, I suspected something was wrong. I purchased it anyway. I got about 15 minutes into an hour and a half drive and the gearbox jammed in reverse. I um, tried to call a guy, he wouldn't answer his phone. Yeah, I, I just, I didn't know what to do. I, I had no idea about these air shifters, how they work, whatever. I called a couple of truck mechanics, they came out, they couldn't fix it either. And so I just left it on the side of the road. At that point, you know, I sort of thought I may as well have spent all my life training to be a hairdresser or something because I just felt, I just felt hopeless. But anyway, the guy I bought it from did pick it up the following day. He, f he had it for about a month. He said he 100% fixed it. He found the problem. It was all sorted. I drove it back. I got most of the way back and I lost third and fourth gears. So I'd have to change from second to fifth. I'm about to pull the top of the shifter off and hopefully fix that. Here it is down here. Way down there. Underneath all those pipes and stuff like that so yeah fun <laughs> all right here's the shifter yeah 15 minutes to get it out how these things work is so it has spools in here, little pneumatic spools, one here, one here, and a bunch of these solenoids. A solenoid clicks and that just shifts on. this little mechanism right here. He shifts up and down and side to side just like a a regular gearbox. So what I'm going to do is each of these solenoid valves here, pull them apart, give them a clean, put them back together. So pulling apart the solenoids, when it's, if you're not familiar with this sort of thing, it's a good idea to video yourself doing it so you know which way to put things back together again. I've never dealt with one of these gearbox shifters before. I really don't know what I'm doing. But I figure if I pull everything apart, give it a clean, put it back together, it can't really do any harm. So look at all that crap in there. These are little of the rubber ceiling faces. That one's quite worn, but it'll be fine for now. On each of these solenoids I've put a little red LED, so in here I've put a little a resistor and a diode. You, if, you, if you do this, you need to put the diode on the back of the LED so the back EMF from the solenoid doesn't blow the diode, blow the LED, sorry. So I've done that so I can map the transmission sequence, the solenoid sequence, so if the computer ever gives me trouble in the future, then I can build a new computer for it. I haven't had any problems with it since, like it's it's been a year since I've cleaned it out. And although I haven't driven it very far, it's it's never missed a gear, so it was just obviously a bit of crud jamming the solenoid. Now I did get quoted. Um, my guy gave the, the truck mechanic who came out who couldn't get it going. He said, "Oh, you know, it needs to be back at the shop, and then he needs to rebuild the the shifter unit." I, I did put some new seals in it, which I didn't show on the video. But I guess in total, it cost me about eighty bucks. 
the mechanic said it was going to cost probably between three and eight thousand dollars so the fact that you know i've done it for less than 100 bucks and now most importantly is i know the shifter intimately like if anything were to happen with it i know how to fix it which i think that's the most important thing i don't you know i'm not going to be stuck with this horrific bill to get a tow truck to move the move the bus to a, a main town but anyway, 